Okay, this is option two. The reason I'm laughing is uh, this shouldn't even be an option. I didn't know I had this skin in stock. This this thing is unbelievable. This is probably the best skin I've seen sure in months. The reason I'm saying it is um okay firstly those lines also just to note will come out you see a little bit of a bump there and some crease there and crease there it comes out so the reason this is a beautiful skin is it's got a perfect tail it's long fluffy beautiful line going up up the skin um, so the mane is thick and long and one-sided only thing about the mane is this little bit but you can get a hair um, like a GHD or what do you, what do you call it um, where like a hair straightener or whatever you um, you heat that up and you just comb it to the side and it will stay there so it's like normal hair it's just very thick and strong so um, you can get that little little piece of hair um, sort it out you can fix it um, but just look at this skin <laughs> unbelievable skin so first of all it's very big it's huge um, very nice mane bold thick colors beautiful pattern and the colors are they don't fade to the sides can you see so they don't fade down the legs and there's no markings on the skin other than other than this little mark there on the neck which is hardly anything so the quality of the skin you can also feel it's like a silky smooth texture the pattern is gorgeous if you look at those bones on the uh, on the back um, everything about the skin I like so this is the second option we have which is a felted skin which is a, a broader border it's a, a wider border the only thing negative I would say about the skin is it's not perfectly symmetric it's not perfectly straight the neck is a little bit like to, to the right can you see there that's the only negative thing I would critique you can see there the neck isn't 100% straight but the other aspects about the skin make up for it so it's huge look at it it's taking up my whole pet here it's taking up my entire pet here massive skin um, the legs we we trim them square instead of round so the small border we have it around nose this one we still we left the nostrils and we don't trim it on the sides we leave the sides so you, you'll see the other felted ones with the small border we trim it a bit there to give it a bit of shape but some people will like like this shape this is the more old school shape I was the person that that familiarized the small border everyone starts copying other people so I was the one who started that but yeah if you look at the quality the quality of this just let me just zoom in here the quality of this hair it's just it's superb absolutely superb it's like there's no hair damage hair loss stitches or marks except for that little mark on the neck no major scratches I do notice a tiny little scratch on the side there that's it uh, I don't, I'm not sure what that is but yeah that's it skin is absolutely gorgeous I would this will sell very quick so if I am my client in New York who mentions she wants it she wants a few skins she wants one for herself and then some to resell what I do notice is a tiny bit of glue that they missed on the felting there because these just came from the I'm sure you can wipe that off with a wet sponge so yeah um, I critique the skins I, I, I bring out the negative parts but I also show the good parts so um, to be extremely harsh there's a little bit of white there a little bit of white there if I want to be extremely harsh tiny bit of white there on the bottom but it's hardly anything um, <laughs> but overall it actually just adds to the overall look of the skin look at that look at that beige stunning beige 
A lot of people think that's black, but it's a dark brown. Um, so yeah, a tiny bit of in-between beige here, which is always nice. But this is option two for my client, and stay tuned for the rest.